uh, betting on precipitation, well, it's become a big business, not just uh, what we talk about, uh, what you're going to do for the weekend, uh, because climate-related futures and options markets are growing into a $15 billion business annually. And now you can also hedge your rainfall risk. At the CME, Jeff Hodgson is president of Chicago Weather Brokerage. Jeff, how, how exactly does this work? Run us through very briefly. Well, good morning. Rainfall futures and options here at the CME Group derive their value from cumulative precipitation totals. The CME has listed nine stations that are tradable on a monthly or on a seasonal basis. So being long futures means you profit from high levels of rain. Being short, your position would benefit from the lack of rain. But unlike a traditional hedge, uh, you, are, you are trading the actual volume. You're trading the amount. So it's known as a volumetric hedge rather than trading the price of a commodity. Mind you, uh, these features have launched, but am I right in thinking there haven't yet been any transactions? I'm curious as to know why. Well, you know, whenever the CME group started trading corn, wheat, and soybeans back in the late 1800s, I venture to guess that not every farmer understood this product right out of the gate. So this product was just, was just released about a week ago, and the learning curve is steep, but the industry potential for this is quite significant. So we're working with a lot of different industries to help them quantify that risk. Are they interested? I mean, is this something, that a product that they've said they're interested in, that they really need? Certainly. I mean, I think the most obvious example is going to be in the, in the ag space where a farmer needs a certain amount of rain. Uh, to offset that rain, he can put on a downside protection trade, uh, a put spread that would offset the lost yield that, that, that he receives in his corn crop. But look at some other industries. Look at, look at some everyday industries like the golf course industry. It's a $90 billion a year industry. Mm. Uh, there's over 1,000 golf courses in just, just the state of Michigan alone that a wet August could, could be 50 or $100 million of, of, of lost revenue. So it's my job to educate them and help them quantify that risk. Jeff, how big of a market do you see? Personally, I mean, the potential when you look at this is uh, anywhere estimated to be two to three trillion dollars of our total economic output is uh, affected by weather. And then when you get into some of these seasonal businesses that have a disproportionate share of their revenue or their profitability being affected by weather, I think the potential is very, very significant. It's just like I said, the education is going to be key and it's helping people quantify that risk. Once they understand that, uh, I would almost argue, why would you not do that? How many times have you heard a retailer come out and blame the weather for mm. missing their guidance? Or a theme uh, what about park, cotton? For example. Right, you just you just referenced cotton. A big reason that that's happening is due to lack of rain. Uh, look at the Russia drought. Look what that did to soybean prices. So, I think. Um, most most people would agree that the market potential is, is is significant. It's just understanding it enough to the point where they can actually put on a structure that correlates to their to their business. I see Seattle's not on your list of uh, of listed cities. Is that one just too easy to go long there? Probably, probably yeah. everyone would be a buyer, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, thank you very much, Jeff. Interesting product, Jeff Hodgson. Thank you.